Hello everyone. Welcome back to my channel, Crafting Adventures with Amy. I'm going to try to do a video outside today because it's so nice outside. But there's kind of a lot of um, road traffic. So I hope you guys can all hear me really well. Um, I have a few things to share. Uh, one finished object. Then a finished but yet ongoing object. And then another um, whip work in progress. So I'll start with the finished one because I have it right here. I participated in the um, copycat collab and it was with Laura with Mad Mimi crocheting and farming and Karen, um, a yarn addict with Karen and they both and other people did this as well. Um, they both did the rel, rel, red velvet rose wrap from expression fiber arts and i chose to do it as well and that is my finished object so i have it here i did mine in um i love this yarn it is a three weight so i have the label right here i love this yarn it's a sport sport weight yarn so it's a three weight yarn. I kind of played yarn chicken at the end. I used four of them and this is all I had left. It's maybe, maybe 10, 12 inches left. And that's all I had left out of three full skeins of that. I used an eye hook and here is how mine turned out. This color is coral. I really like the color. I thought maybe the natural light outside would be best for it. I'm not sure if it is or not, but this is how mine turned out. I always think I got a look, but here I'll just kind of show it. I haven't blocked it at all, so the bottom is kind of curly yet, but I will, I will block it. It's a very nice size wrap. Um, it, it goes around me really nice. I really like it. Uh, so yeah. I, I'm probably going to send this away to someone. I haven't totally decided that, you know, if I am or not yet, but I think that I will. So that's one, a finished object. Now, a little while ago, a few weeks, maybe a month ago, my daughter and granddaughter asked me if I could make some dinosaurs for church camp for this year. Um... My daughter is in charge, my oldest daughter is in charge of all the ongoings with the kids for church camp, for, for our church totally. She's in charge of Sunday school and everything. And, and they sent me a link to um, a triceratops, a stuffed animal triceratops. It was, it's an uh, Etsy link, so it was a paid pattern. And they asked if I could make some, and they asked if I could make 15 of them. And I thought, 15, I'm not a big amigurumi fan. I don't really do amigurumis very often. But seeing as it was for church, you know, and they had asked me, I figured that I would tough it out and I would make them. So here is one, I've got nine of them done. I'm not gonna show all nine of them right now, but I will in the next video, hopefully they will all be done. But this is Tanner the Triceratops. So here's one. It's turning out really cute. Each one is a little bit different. I, the tail is maybe a little bit higher on some, a little bit lower. Um, the arms and legs are placed maybe a little bit different. Maybe they're not even across, but you know they don't care. They're just they're just excited that I'm able to make them. Um, there's a couple that the eyes are not placed exactly right either, but homemade stuff is not perfect. Heck, not everything from the store is perfect either. So, and I'm making, um, they said assorted colors, any colors I, you know, that I have yarn to make. I'm using just acrylic yarn from my stash. So I haven't bought, I don't need to buy any yarn to make these. So here's a red one. And then I just brought out a green one. So here's three of them. And I do have, like I said, nine of them, nine out of 15 made. Um, each one's a little bit different. My daughter came over one day and, and I showed them to her and she liked them. So that's what we're going with. 
Um, it was a paid for pattern. It was only $4.50 and I'm getting my $4.50, $4.50 worth out of it for sure. Then the other thing I have going on is I've got a knitted, uh, kind of like a knit along, but I mean, it happened a while ago. I just got found the Facebook page and I had showed um, some squares for a different one that I made. Well, this is the same um, page, Facebook page, knit along, same page, but a different knit along. But I, I'm enjoying trying out again, um, different patterns, different things to do with knitting. I don't have any ends sewn in yet. They're all on the back, but that shouldn't be too hard to do at the end. And it's not blocked either because of course I'm not done with it yet, but here it is. And I'm kind of doing this one in like boyish colors because the other blanket I made, I did more in girl colors. So here's, here's the pattern. Might be hard to see some of it, but here's what I'm doing. I've changed up a little bit because there were a couple parts I really didn't like, so I decided to switch it up with something else. And then I'm, this is the next to the last. There's only one more section after this one, and it's a smaller section. Um, and then to put the green on the top for the edge. So I'm almost done with it. But I did put a lot of stuff aside um, for the, the dinosaurs because I do have to have them done by the middle of June. Um, tomorrow I have a craft day with my sister, so I'll get a bunch done tomorrow. What's helped me with the dinosaurs is I, I've been making a lot of the pieces or the parts, like I'll make the legs and the arms and the three horns. And this is called the frill and then the tail. I make all them parts and then I've got like three dinosaur parts made for three dinosaurs, the parts for three dinosaurs already made. And then I just take a day and that'll be tomorrow with my sisters. I'm just going to sit and make the bodies and stuff them. And um, it helped for me. It's easier to put the pieces on as I crochet up the body. So I'll go up so far and then I'll put the legs on and the tail on. And then I'll do the rest of the body and then I'll put the arms on. And then I make the head and I do, it starts in the middle here. And as I go up on the out on the head I sew the parts on as I go and that's really worked out a lot better the first one I made you know I made the whole head then I had to sew the pieces on and that for me that's a struggle so that's worked out really really well for me um, and I the last few like last two or three are gonna be multicolored ones it takes one skein of yarn will make one but then I have some of the yarn left over and so my daughter said you know to use that yarn the leftovers and make a couple that are multicolored like the legs one color arms one color the body one color so that's going to be fun just to when I get done with all these I'm going to just lay out the leftover yarn and kind of make pieces and put them together so um I'm kind of I'm excited to do that part too so it'll be fun to get these all done and then I not sure what I'll start on next so well I think that's just kind of a catch up an update on what I've got going on this is a nice short video only will be about nine minutes or so um so yeah I think that's it I hope everyone has a good Memorial Day weekend and I don't think I welcomed people at the beginning of course because I forget to do that to welcome any new subscribers and welcome back um anyone else that all of you guys that are coming back and I guess that's that's the end of it I think I did this video without having to stop and start it I did this one all in one shot um so have a good Memorial Day weekend and enjoy whatever craft you like to do see you later bye bye